Meghan Markle and Harry not in touch with U.S. public as NY visit inconsistency exposed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been branded as out of touch during their public visits by a royal expert. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry recently stepped out in New York for their first joint appearances since the birth of their daughter, Lilibet Diana, on June 4. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended to participate in Global Citizen Live to promote equal access to the COVID-19 vaccine as well as a reading at a school in Harlem. Royal commentator Katie Nichol pointed out a notable inconsistency between the outing and the image the couple have wanted to offer the world of themselves. The couple did face some criticism for the visit, including the fact that they traveled back to Montecito by private jet, after being vocal about the effects of climate change. Ms. Nichol, the royal editor of Vanity Fair, spoke about the event on the royal beat. She said, turning up at an underprivileged school in Harlem, in a couture coat that costs more than the combined incomes of most of those parents at the school. It doesn't make any sense. It just shows them to not be in touch. The Duchess was slammed for wearing the $5,840 Laura Piana cashmere coat, as she was visiting an underprivileged part of New York. She also matched the coat with $1,685 wide leg pants, and red Manolo Blahnik pointed toe heels. Royal watchers took to social media after the event, pointing out that the Duchess of Sussex's suit looked a lot like the one worn by Michael Obama. There has been widespread speculation that Meghan is looking for a career move into politics, and may even run in the next election. The Duchess and Harry stepped down from their role as working royals in the British monarchy last year. When they made the decision, they rescinded their rights to use their HRH titles and stopped receiving public funds for royal duties. The Duke and Duchess had previously said they planned to carve out a progressive new role in the royal family and intended to work to become financially independent. This saw them launch their non-profit, the Arch Ewell Foundation. Since moving to Montecito, California, the couple have signed various deals with multiple companies. Their production deal with major player Netflix, was reportedly around $150 million. It is also rumored that Meghan is starting a new skin line with infomercial guru Bill Guthy. The deal is rumored to be around $200 million. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry had nasty fight during New York trip, didn't speak for 24 hours. Did Meghan Markle and Prince Harry tear into each other during their trip to New York? One tabloid cover story claims the couple was bickering non-stop. Let's check in on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's trip from hell? This week, In Touch reports Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had a miserable time during their trip to New York City. While the couple was all smiles during a double date in the city, things changed as soon as they were alone. Harry and Meghan smiled for the cameras during photo ops while they were in New York, but behind closed doors, they were miserable, in insider dishes. Before their appearance at Global Citizen Live, they apparently clashed on the sensitive topic of Lilibet's christening. Harry and Meghan got into an explosive argument about Lilibet being christened in London, the tipster divulges. What started off as Harry voicing some concerns spiraled into the nastiest fight they've ever had. What's worse, their trip was being taped for some TV show, so they were wired and the fight was caught on audio. The outlet points to a photo of Harry with a wire protruding from his clothes as evidence they're filming a reality piece for Netflix. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle fighting about Lilibet's christening? Apparently, the fight was all over Harry's hesitance to christen Lilibet in the UK. A royal christening is a recipe for disaster, the tipster explains. Besides having to deal with all the publicity that would come with it, Harry feels it makes sense to give his family more time to calm down. To be honest, he'd prefer to have a small, hassle-free christening for Lilibet in California. But Markle was not willing to bend on the matter. Apparently, the Duchess wants Lilibet to have royal christening so Lilibet will have a princess title. But as Harry pressed on, explaining his side of things, Markle just took off and left. Apparently, the Duke had no idea where his wife went, and she completely stood him up for a prior dinner engagement. He and Meghan didn't speak in private for 24 hours, the insider reveals.
Apparently, Markle apologized for leaving Harry, but things are still a little tense for the Sussexes. They've decided to wait a little then reassess the, christening, situation. But, chances are, Meghan will get her way, the source concludes. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle caught in nasty fight? There's a lot to unpack here. First of all, who is giving the tabloid this information? While this insider gives detailed accounts of why the couple was at odds, they couldn't give any more details about the actual argument or why exactly Harry was wearing a wire the whole time. From what we can tell, Harry and Markle had a great time in New York. The couple even shared a sweet hug on stage at the Global Citizen Live concert, supposedly only moments after the nastiest fight they've ever had. Without the single photo, witness, or report to back up the tabloid's claims, we're having a hard time taking it seriously at all. Chances are, this fight of Harry and Markle's was a total work of fiction. Furthermore, Harry and Markle haven't actually confirmed their plans for christening Lilibet. And we're certain Markle isn't doing all of this to secure Lilibet a princess title. Christening or not, Lilibet will become a princess as soon as Prince Charles becomes king. The Tabloid on the Sussexes This is hardly the first time we've caught in touch in a lie about Prince Harry. Earlier this year, the tabloid claimed Harry and William had a nasty fight during Harry's UK visit. Then the tabloid alleged Harry was begging Markle to stop spending so much money on clothes. And more recently, the outlet reported Harry was trapped by Meghan and didn't have any friends. Clearly, the outlet isn't reliable when it comes to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex.